Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today I'm continuing our video series on algebra and we're going to be looking at what it means to collect like terms. We're going to talk about this concept of like terms throughout the video. Let's get straight in. So in this video we're going to look at what terms are. So it's a recap on our previous video in case you haven't watched it, although I would recommend you get on there and watch that quickly. We're going to talk about some different types of like terms. We're going to do a single work example and then talk about what's coming up in the video series. So firstly let's just recap what terms are. They can be numbers so you've got whole numbers, decimals and fractions these are all kinds of terms. The second kinds of terms are our variables. Um, you might think of those as the letters in algebra also called pronumerals. So for example we've got the x's, the y's, mn's, combinations of the letters joined together and letters on their own as well. We've also got collections of numbers, which we call coefficients, if you remember from our last video, combined with variables and perhaps even powers. So we've got some examples here. We've got 4x, so that's a combination of a um, coefficient of 4 with a pronumeral of x. We've got 5mn, so we've got two letters now joined together. That's another type of term. We've got 3b squared, for example, which is a power with a number and a letter. And we've also got fractions as well. So these are all different kinds of things. So any combinations of letters and numbers or letters by themselves or numbers by themselves are all called terms. So whenever you're thinking about terms, you're just thinking about um, algebra combinations. Let's talk now about what like terms are. So this definition here is a very important definition. It's a little bit wordy. Let's get into it. It says that like terms are terms that contain the same variables. Remember variables are our letters raised to the same power. So a like term is any anything, for example, A's, all the A's together, whether it's 4A, 50A, 4000A, etc. They're all the same letter. And the number in front is not important, it's only the letter behind and whatever the power is of that. So numbers by themselves, such as fractions, decimals and whole numbers, these are also considered a group of like terms with other numbers that are by themselves. So for example, the number six, the number two, the number half, the number a million, the number negative five, all of these are considered a group of like terms. They're just normal numbers that we've been dealing with ever since primary school. Okay, so let's now look at what we mean by the same variable raised to the same power. So for any terms, the best thing to do is just to look at the letter combination only. So don't worry about the number that's in the front, look at the letter combination and those are your like terms. So here are some examples using the letter A, you could use any variable you want, but for example, an A by itself is a like term with a 3A, with a half an A, with a 0.7 of an A, with a thousand an A, with a million A. So the number in front is not important. It's the letter behind that makes these all like terms. So if you can get your head around that, that you're just looking for the letter combination, not the numbers, then you'll be home and hose with that one. Okay, combinations are also important. So we've got MN, 5MN, 120MN. Once again, these are all like terms because they've got the same letter combination. So if I had 5M by itself, it would not be a like term with 5MN because it needs to have the M and the N to be a like term. Now I've thrown a couple more in here. You'll see 2NM and 0.2NM. Now these are also like terms with the MN terms. You might be thinking, well, hang on, that's a different letter combination. The M and the N are reversed. Now this is something important to get your head around too. Firstly, it's an algebraic convention that we put the letters in alphabetical order. So um, M should come before N when we're writing it. It just makes life a little bit easier. Secondly, when we're multiplying, and that's what we're doing when we have a number in front of the letters, we've got, for example, mn is actually m multiplied by n or m times n. Normally we don't write the times down, it's a little bit lazy, and one of the reasons for that is that times can be confused with an x quite easily. So we don't write the times. So m times n is the same as n times m. Let's think about that in terms of numbers. If I did 2 times 5, that would give me 10. 5 times 2 also gives me the 10. So it doesn't matter what order I multiply two numbers in, um, I'll always come up with the same answer. And it's the same with the algebra letters as well. M times N is the same as N 
times m. So that means we need to look, because sometimes it's a little bit tricky, we need to look and make sure we've got the same letters, the same powers, and the order is not important. Okay, when you've got powers, this is really important, the power must be applied to the same letter and it has to be the same power to be a like term. This is another important rule and you may wish to pause here and write it down. So for example, these are all like terms, x to the power of 2 or x squared. So it doesn't matter what the coefficient is. In the case of x squared, we've got a coefficient of 1. We just typically don't write the 1 if it's a number in front. We're a little bit lazy with that as well. Um, we've got a 3x squared, a 1,555x squared, and a 0.5x squared. So it doesn't matter what that number is in the front, but that power must be the same. So it's not going to be a like term with x cubed with x to the power of 50, or even x by itself, only with other x squareds. And once again, it won't be with y squared either. x squared and y squared are not like terms because the letter is different, even though the power is the same. Okay, so our worked example today, we're going to identify some like terms. So I've got loads on the screen here. Um, maybe pause here, see if you can spot some like terms. What I'm going to do firstly is highlight just our whole numbers, fractions, anything without letters. These are all going to be like terms with one another. Now you can see I've tried to be a little bit tricky here. I've got a 0.5 over with the x squared y. I've got a 4xy and a 4y x squared. The fours are not going to be like terms with each other because we're not interested in the number in the front. We're only interested in the letter combination and where there's no letters, they are like terms. So let's eliminate those first three. Our um, just numbers without variables, they're gone. That makes life a little easier just looking for the next part. Okay, let's identify again just our terms with just an M. So you'll notice down the bottom, we've got a 4M squared down here. It's not a like term with these two because this one has a power of one. We don't typically write anything with a power of one. We just assume it's got a power of one, whereas it's got a power of two. So they are not like terms. These are like terms. Okay, so we can eliminate those. You'll notice as well that even though this has got a three in front and a three in front, not interested in the number in front. So they're not like terms. So let's eliminate those now. All right, let's look at our next example. These are both x squareds. Now you'll notice there's an x squared here as well, but it's got a y on the end, so it's not the same letter combination. And the same goes over here. Um, and the same goes here as well. So we're only interested in just an x to the power of 2, nothing else. Let's take those out of the picture. Okay, so our next combination is xy. If I had a yx, then that would also be a like term with xy, something to just remember and keep in the back of your mind. They are gone. And then we've got these three here are all x squared and y. You'll notice these are swapped around again, just to be tricky. And that leaves 4m squared all by itself. Now you might be wondering, why on earth do we want to identify like terms? We're going to find out a lot more about that in our next video. So we're going to be talking about writing expressions um, using the information we've been given. We're going to look at adding and subtracting like terms. And it's really important that you can identify what a like term is so that you can then add and subtract. Um, little hint here for coming up, you can only add and subtract like terms. So a three cannot be added to an X. They can't just become three X together because they're not like terms. We're going to talk a lot more about that in our upcoming video. Um, multiplying and dividing with some algebra, expanding and factorizing and loads more. There's lots coming up in this algebraic techniques series. Well, if you would like to engage further with this series, why not like and subscribe to the channel? Tell us about um, how you found the video in the comments, um, anything that you thought was helpful, and share this video with a teacher, a friend, or a sibling. And I'd like to say a huge welcome to all of our new subscribers. This is just a handful of the ones that we've had in the past two months. So maybe you'll spot your name there. Thank you so much for joining the channel and for supporting everything that we do here. And if you've got any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please contact me at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Um, best to do that rather than writing it in the comments, in things in the comments are sometimes hard to explain, but it's easy to explain over the email. Or you could choose to connect with us on Facebook and Instagram as well for lots of tips, tricks, memes, competitions, etc. Well, thank you so much for joining me at McClutchy Mass. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.